Hey then guys, this is like Trade Spotter HD and uh, welcome back to a, another new video and today I'm at Dawlish on this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, weather wise here at Dawlish today, it's uh, not a bad one, it's, uh, it's dry at the moment, it's uh, a little bit chilly but uh, yeah, uh, I think the sun is trying to get out but uh, overall pretty good day. Uh, so in this video you'll be seeing services from Great Ashram Railway and Cross Country. Now as you can see here at Dawlish, uh, Dawlish station has been getting done out. Platform's looking, uh, well, I have to say a whole lot better than what it used to look like. My God, they've done a real good job, the network rail people. They should be proud of themselves. So yeah, here's the, here's the layout. You can just basically see it here from a nutshell. And also you can see they're still doing works now today. So uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. It looks real good. I will admit, it looks so much better. A um, lot more work is going on down here, as you can see. Working away nicely. It's funny that, that this used to be a beach, but obviously it's not a beach now, as you can see, it's a bit of a work uh, site, but uh, yeah. So during this video here at Dawlish, I won't be here on the station all the time to record the trains. I will be down, probably be down there at some point and on that side as well. I'm gonna record trains in various locations today. So this should be an interesting video, guys. I forgot to mention that you will see a freight much later on in the video as well. So uh, it should be made for a very, very good video. A lot of variety. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see what else shall turn up. Okay then guys, well we're back in the video and I thought I'd uh, show you down here on this side, as you can see. We've got the uh, wall up. Even though you can't really see uh, the uh, sea very well now, it, it's going to protect for any future storms that obviously does come down here uh, a lot. Obviously as you know, Dorish is famous for its uh, nasty storms at times, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, they do, I can't fault what they've done here. It, it, it looks like a new station now, doesn't it? With the wall here, as you can see. Uh, there is another wall over there, as you can see. But the sea view, I mean, you can probably just about see the sea as well, but uh, not as good as it used to be. But, you know, you'd rather have, you'd rather have this than, uh, than the sea views, in my view, because it we just need protection for Dawlish Station because there's been a lot of uh, a lot of storms down here. So uh, yeah, I mean yeah, it's a great job. It's a real good job. Done the st uh, done the station out very nicely. Looks really new. Here's another view. Look, very nice, isn't it? So uh, I think the actual station itself, the footbridge and that, that may get done out at some point. I think it could do with a bit of a spruce up as well to make it even look even better but uh yeah it's come along very nicely anyway guys we'll be uh packing a few minutes uh with um a great western railway service to london panton so yeah we'll come back shortly with that train okay guys we are back in the video and about to come through now will be the great western railway service from penzance to london panton forgot to mention that all trains are back up and running now as normal so uh Oh, as you can see, obviously, as you know, that we've had a lot of storms over the last few days, which has caused major disruption. But now the trains are back up and running as normal. So, a very good to see indeed, obviously. This uh, Cirrus Lund pattern is actually on time. That's 
802113. Forgot to mention the uh, start of the video as well. That was the uh, double 50 I got off to get the doors as well. This is a 246 and 261 going to Payton. And that one was on time as well. Okay, next train you'll see go through. However, we will be late. It's a cross country service. Uh, so we'll uh, come out shortly with that train. Okay, let's go through now. will be a late running cross country service from Edinburgh to Plymouth. And it looks to be a nice treat, guys. It looks to be a cross country HST. There's actually going to be another cross country HST coming from Plymouth going to Leeds. So, uh, yeah, very, very good indeed. Didn't expect this one to be a cross country H HST, to be honest. I thought it would have been a Vorder, but. Uh, all good unfortunately it doesn't show the numbers on this one on the real time trains app so uh i'm about to try and get the numbers as it goes through but it won't be easy So that's 43 303 and 43 at 366. And that's, uh, that's nice. Always good to see a Costco HST. Uh, good to see them back in action as well. So obviously, as you know, uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, they were out of action. Uh, they were being put out of action. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes with some more trains. Hey guys, welcome back to a very breezy and drizzly Dawlish. And uh, coming in now will be a Greatest Railway Series to Payton. This one is also on time. So you run by a turbo on this one. I'll see it. I'm assuming it'll be a 166. <coughs> Two zero seven. I am going to keep the camera rolling. For this one because there will be a cross country uh cross country train due to go through any time now on the opposite side get out british weather ah dear lord lovely british weather for you guys you know it said it was going to stay dry all day it's fucking raining excuse my language Now. It's only a drizzle, so I can cope with it. It's just a wind that is making it bad. Uh, cross country train due to go through now. It's not come yet, so I will uh, come back in a few seconds with that train. And a nice dong as well. There you go. Okay, guys, we are back over here in Polish and Indeed, the bike to go through will be that cross country series from Plymouth to Leeds uh, again. This one's run by a cross country HST. Spirits in a bit of weird weather here at Doris. It's uh, sort of light ra raining, light drizzly. Nice top on the driver. And, uh, and the sun's trying to get out.
3304 and the 43378 giving it the almighty beans. Just stop raining as well, indoorish, good. Okay, we'll be back in a couple more minutes, guys, with, yeah, you guess it, you, some more trains. Okay, we're back in the video, guys, and uh, it's come through now. It'll be a Great Western Railway service from London Pants into Plymouth, and this one, you can kind of guess, it's on time. What's going on with the London Panting Services today? They're all on time. I hate to jinx it, they're normally late. <laughs> now this one that will be... Okay, so that's tidy, 802.022 and 802.021. Yeah, very tidy indeed. Okay, guys, well, I can see the Exworth train is about to come in, so I'm going to keep the camera rolling for this. This one is running about three minutes late. Um, it left Newton Abbott three minutes late for whatever reason, not sure why. Maybe some slow passion of getting on or being stupid or something, but... Uh, yeah, it's uh, coming in now. This is also a uh, double 150. Hope you're enjoying the video so far at Dawlish. Seen some uh, very nice little variety. We've seen two cost coach HSTs in the space of a few minutes. So that's nice, nice and rare as well, I would say. <laughs> So the only train we haven't seen yet is a, um, well, 158, Great Esther 158, which I don't think we will see. And uh, a castle set, which we will see uh, very shortly. In fact, we'll probably see two of them. One stopping and one going through. This one is, it's the 152.19. That one's usually on the uh, Oakhampton line a lot. And we're going to have to catch a number at the back, I think, as it goes out. So we'll, uh, we'll come back then. Okay, back to the park now. We'll be the late running Great Western Railway service to Expo. One fifty two four eight at the back. Interesting fact, guys. I don't know when the two one nine will actually go off to get a refurb because it's meant to get a refurb and be in the green uh, GWR livery. It was meant to have done it a, a week ago, but due to the storm uh, we had down here, it didn't go in the end. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, coming in now will be a Great Western Railway service to Penzance from Cardiff Central. This will be a castle set. It'll be 43154 and 43027. I uh, kind of cheated and had a look at the numbers. And this one is on time.
Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes. We'll be uh, stopping the service to Cardiff Central, and that'll also be a castle set. Okay, there you guys. Currently now will be a cost, uh, cost country, Great Western Railway service, I should say. <laughs> to Cardiff Central. Get it right, Alex. You can pick that's a moron. <laughs> on this one, we'll be stopping here. <laughs> oh, God. Well, bloody hell, guys. Would you believe it? The Central is actually out now. <laughs> It's good that each day passes by, it gets lighter each day, so that's something we can look forward to. Forty-three one nine two at the front, and uh, also we'll uh, catch her over at the uh, back once she goes out. Okay, guys, we're back in the video and. Uh, We'll get back to the park now. We'll be the Great Esther Railway Series to Cardiff Central. The side of a good castle set departing. Forty three zero one six at the back, the Powderham Castle they play. Excellent. Okay guys, coming in now will be a Great Western Railway service to Bainton. This is on time as well. It'll be 247 and 265 together today. Be another train to get on camera after this one. It'll be another stopping service, go to Exmouth. Again, it'll be a door 150. Doesn't seem to be many turbos around today. I only sold the one. Uh, that was going to Peyton as well. Quite busy that train. <laughs> I don't, don't know why it's busy. <laughs> the one I got off earlier on wasn't so busy, so there you go. Let's go down here, see it go out. A few people getting off, there's a few people getting on, so. Uh, <laughs> going on there uh, still hasn't left yet ah wheelchair person wants to get on we'll come back in a few seconds guys okay guys well we'll wait for this train to uh go off this is gonna it's gonna be late leaving now i think we got the uh greatest rally source expert coming in now which that one is on time and hopefully should leave on time Two four nine at the front of the, uh, the uh, Exmouth track. 
we'll, uh, we'll catch the uh, number at the uh, back of this once she goes out we do have the uh, painting sirs uh, finally going to leave One six at the back. As you can see, the two one six has got a very nice new uh, headboard down below. Okay, so as those two trains goes out, I'm going to leave it here at Dawlish for now. I will be back later on, probably with a few more trains, and definitely for that freight train, which should come through around about half five. So we'll uh, we'll come back then, guys. Hey guys, well that's the uh, freight train from uh, St. Basie going to the extra Riverside, 66105, the red DB, so uh, yeah. Now I think there's a uh, late run in Great Western Railway service from London Pan to the Painter, which will actually be stopping here, so I might as well get that on camera. In fact, it's actually coming up the line now, so uh, I, might as well get, I might as well get that on camera to end the video on. So... Uh, yeah, hope you've uh, enjoyed this video here at Doors today, guys. I think my next video will be tomorrow. I'll be out again tomorrow. I think I'll stay in extra tomorrow. Probably plan to make a video at St. Thomas. I haven't made a proper trades video at St. Thomas for a while, so... Uh, yeah. Just coming up the line now. Yeah, it's about near enough half five and it's still pretty much light. So we can look forward to lighter days ahead now, guys. I'll see in the winter time it gets dark around four o'clock, which is just so depressing. So like I said, each day that goes by, it gets lighter and you can look forward to better times ahead. Also, that's why I prefer the summer much longer daylight hours and uh, much warmer weather of course so uh, obviously during the summer months all will be out and about making plenty of train videos i believe this one i think is late i'm not entirely sure i think it is we well, may see may say at the uh side of this train is 800 319 the uh, number on the train 19 yeah I think that's about it's about, ooh, about six six seven minutes late something like that we keep the camera running I would get more trains on camera guys but I think my battery is quite low so we'll have to uh, end the video on this one and plus after this it will uh, pretty much get dark anyway so uh
think there's a bike to leave now. You can see that they're still doing the longer trains to Paynton uh, during the winter months. I didn't expect that to be honest. So they normally only happen uh, during the summer months. But they are happening. Uh, it's like it's happening all year round. So as she goes out, I'm going to leave it here at Dawlish on this Wednesday afternoon. Hope you enjoyed this selection of trains you see here at Dawlish today, guys. We've got some, a very nice selection of trains indeed, from uh, IETs to castle sets to cost culture HSTs to 150s. We did see a turbo, one turbo. Doesn't seem to be many turbos around today, but that's not a bad thing, of course. Um, yeah, so I suppose the only train we didn't see was actually a water. So, uh, yeah. And we'll see that freight train we saw a minute ago. So yeah, very nice selection of trains indeed. So my next video will be tomorrow, hopefully, guys. I'm thinking I'm going to stay in Exeter tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be at St. David's or St. Thomas, but either way, I'll be doing a video at Exeter tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I'll see my long-distance trip for Saturday. I'm going to Hereford for the first time. So I'll look forward to that. So until next time, for me here at Dawlish, if the workmen over there are still working their arses off <laughs> i'll see you soon guys take care thanks for the support